Friday, the 21st of May, 2021. A day that any normal person would look at and be ecstatic to see, because it means the end of a working week or the end of a school week, and specifically for students within the UK, the end of exams. But I, dear avid viewer, am not a normal person. I'm a 21 Pilots fan. And if you too are a clicky, but you've been living under a rock for like the past three months, allow me to explain why the 21st is so special. Today is the release date of Scaled and Icy, the latest 21 Pilots single, and today is the start of the Psy experience. Our thrilling tale of this day starts at 7am as I wake up to get dressed for school like I do every weekday. Now, by this point, some of the videos for Scaled and Icy had released, you know, the little visualisers they do, and I didn't really have enough time to watch any of them to form a proper opinion of them. So, I left watching the videos and listening to the songs until after school, in which I was severely tortured for around 8 hours as the premise of new music just kept playing on my mind. However, those eight hours soon passed and I found myself getting on the bus to head towards my local town centre, or as you Americans would call it, a mall. Now, I didn't go to get scaled and icy straight away. I went to get lunch and me and my friend, uh, we stopped off at Taco Bell. So we got Taco Bell, so what have you got? So, here we have some curry curry fries with a side of cheese sauce and spicy chicken grilla burrito. Let's go. Oh wait, there's a chip in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> After making Tyler Joseph proud by eating at the restaurant of the gods and not Chipotle because we don't have any of those over in the UK, we then headed to HMV to get our hands on scaled and icy. Okay, so which one we're gonna get? Ooh, five pounds! Just to get these two. If you buy the Scout and Icy 21 Pilots t-shirt, you can get the CD for five pounds. No, buy the Scout and Icy 21 Pilots t-shirt and get the CD for five pounds. Wait, just like the two together for five pounds? No. Buy the t-shirt and get the CD for five pounds. No, you buy the t-shirt and then the CD for five pounds. I don't know how, the CD, how much the t-shirt is. Do I want it out myself with a clicky <laughs> or not? That is the question. I actually might buy one of these. I don't think they'll have them in my size. This is a small. Yeah, they're, that's, 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 yeah, trust me, their big sizes are way, they're like, big, big. I might just get medium though. I think I'm pushing in a large. I blame the brownies and the cookies and stuff. <laughs> so, so you just, you're just going to get the t-shirt, so yeah. introduce yourself to the viewers. Good evening, I'm Thomas Knight. I am a, I'm your local friendly Tony Moore Pilots fan. Do you have any social medias you want to oh, shout right, out? Oh, yeah. Alright, T-Knight underscore absolute local is my Twitter. That is T-Knight underscore absolute local. Hit me up, I've got 35 followers, I'm absolutely booming. <laughs> Let's go. Anything to say about Scale that I see? I feel like I'm interviewing you here. This is an interview now, it's not a vlog. This is an interview. Uh, all I'm going to say is no chances, hit hard. Understandable, have a nice day. <laughs> And so we made our way to the tills. I ended up buying two copies of Scaled and Icy, the normal version as well as the version with the special sleeve. Scaled and Icy had been acquired. Now before I was able to go home to listen to the album, I actually had to first fulfil a quest. Thomas, you're an Asda expert, okay, where's, where's the fresh salad? We need to... We've acquired Scaled and Icy and now we need to acquire some ginger. The next item on our mission. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if it's here. Hang on, I wonder if Skeleton Ice is here. Mm, no. We're just two humbles trying to make our way in this world. <laughs> 21 pilots. <laughs> they don't have it here, that's just disappointing. Uh, Asda, how dare you? Okay, so I'm here with the special sleeved edition of Scale and Icy. I have actually bought two copies. I've bought this one, the special sleeve edition, and if I just reach over here, I have also got the normal one. 
So uh, from back to front in general, this is what the normal one looks like. Um, I'm keeping the sticker on this one because it's pretty cool. If you look at it, it's got um, the fire from the dragon. Uh, you've got the song names, the scaled kind of thing. And then you have, obviously, the scaled and icy sigh. Um, this is the back of the general album as well. Uh, Good Day's got a, a double loop toe, so if anybody wants to theorise about that, they can go crazy. But um, I'm going to focus on this album in particular. So this is what the sleeve looks like on the front um, and around the sides. You've got a uh, Field by Ramen at the top there as well as the album number. Uh, it's the same down the sides as well and at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom it's just got um, a scaled and icy sign. It's got a sigh. Um, the back pretty much has the same exact pattern. It's pretty cool. I like the pattern very much. I think, I think compared to a lot of other eras, I think this album has the nicest cover, in my opinion. Blurry Face had a really nice one, the patterns were pretty, but I don't think it's ever been this pretty. Okay, so I've just taken the, um, the plastic sheet off of it, and... Uh, if you slip out the album, it comes out back to front. <laughs> Let's go. Um, no, it's the same design as the normal Scaled and Icy one. you just got a special sleeve over it. And if you're willing to buy this, if, if you're curious about it, um, it is the same price as the normal album. So there is no need to worry. Anyway, Scaled and Icy. Um got the little size sign here you got the dragon do we have any you've got a little destroy here as well destroys on here um you've already seen the back but this is the back and this is the side inside when you open it up this is what you get so you've got the scaled and icy pattern and beside it you've got a picture of tyler and josh in the middle of a dragon of the side dragon which is pretty cool but pink haired tyler i would have loved to see uh, open this part up because it's a flap you get this part on the inside which talks about the productions and whatnot um i'm not reading all that out <laughs> here's what the actual um disc looks like for the album uh, i won't be lifting it out yet because i'm gonna listen to it fully later but um if you look behind, you can see dragons. You've got names of the songs. Um, you've got this little thing here, which is a dragon around the world, which uh, you may recognise from the Clancy is Dead video, uh, because Tyler wore it on the back of his jacket. And it's also the symbol of Good Day Dima, that TV show. Um, you've got more ones here. You've got Scaled and Icy, also in... Um, in written and somewhere along the back here you have the lyric um keep your sunny days um i will be i will be giving my rating on all the songs as well uh later in the video so inside this little slip here there is a lyric book i'm just struggling to get it out hold on all right there's a lyric book and it looks like this in the back it has the dragon and it has uh the sigh on the front it's kind of cool two-toned to represent the era which is which is fun uh you've got 21 pilots on the inside and then you've got the contents of the song lyrics uh, and you've got a little picture of tyler and josh so this is the one for good day um a lot of the lyric pictures i think from this will match the visualizers if you have watched them uh you got that for good day dima or i mean good day uh choker shy away uh, the outside, with Tyler and Josh looking slightly petrified. Uh, Never Take It, Saturday. Uh, let's see. And then we got this page here, which is just Tyler and Josh in the midst of dragon wings. Although someone managed to point out this kind of looked like, like a vulture and its wing. So it can be taken both ways, really. You got Formidable. Uh, then here you got Mulberry Street. Another picture of Tyler and Josh. Bounce Man. And you've got a little little cool colour code thing here as well. Huh. Another picture. No chances. And 
I want to talk about this now, actually. So, I've already watched uh, the visualizers. And uh, this photo, if you noticed, it's very, like, dotted. And it's holding uh, the dragon. It's Tyler holding the dragon. And it kind of matches the style of the photos that were on the Demo.org website. Which is, is, it's very cool. I kind of like that callback. It's, it's either, it's either trying to be like a callback to Dima's style of things, or it's meant to tell us that Clancy is alive. And then, Redecorate. One of the best songs on the whole album. Uh, Redecorate, I'm going to talk about separately as well. I've got some things to say. And you got a picture of Tyler and Josh with, um, with the dragon. Um, something to note, uh, I don't think there is another page, there is no other page, um, is that this is possibly the first album where Tyler and Josh don't have a section completely dedicated to thanking the people that they've worked with. I'm looking at the, um, back of the album, but, um, it's just, it's just credits. Um, alongside the credits, they used to have, uh, like a little caption of text where they thank their families and their fans and they'd always have like a little snarky message like we know you love stressed out secretly um so it's a bit saddening to see because it's always it's always nice them having that message specifically for their fans but um that is the album scaled and icy so uh, i'm gonna take you back to uh video recording Duma now so uh she can finish off uh, the rest of the vlog. <laughs> now it's time for the part you've probably been waiting for. My whole rating of Scaled and Icy, all the songs in some form of list and my opinions on them. But yeah, I have 11 songs and I'm just gonna give like a short sentence on each of them. No. Sweet song, just not my taste. Funky song with Coldplay type beat. Bishop Choir. I am vibing to this song. Party Central, Leave the City But Sadder in Disguise. Top 4 are all tied for first place, send help. Message Man's Happier Brother. Yes! But either way, that is the end of the Psy experience. Until it wasn't. Yes, I got myself a ticket for the live stream that was at 1am. I'm going to give a brief summary of what happened, but first of all, the pre-show. The pre-show merely had videos from 21 Pilots past. They played episodes of tours alongside music videos and they ended it off with the Q&A they did last Friday. Another thing to note was that they opened up a section called Behind the Lyrics, which showed Dima-like structures and architecture alongside lyrics being written around on walls or on pieces of paper. Songs like Mulberry Street and No Chances were taped to the wall with yellow tape. Others scrawled into the walls like Bounce Man, and others had pink chalk and were written into the walls like Good Day. The outside was also framed by these bugs, which I can only assume are fireflies from the Leave the City um, tour visuals, as it kind of makes sense since it's talking about the outside of Dima. From the type of architecture, you can kind of tell that maybe this also takes place in one of the Bishop Towers, or maybe in all of them combined together, as some of these rooms have these sort of circular pipe structures you only see in the main towers. This could possibly infer that maybe Tyler and Josh aren't allowed in the main streets of Dima and are in fact trapped inside of the towers where they can be kept under close surveillance. And it almost explains why Tyler believes no one is coming for him because he's in a place that can't be broken into. Now onto the live stream. The live stream was directed by Jason Zada, the person who created the Level of Concern ARG that we did last June, and it's kind of fitting for him to direct this live stream itself, not only because it's a live stream, but also because it contains quite a few clues and cryptic hints to what's going on in Dima. But for those wondering, here is the set list. One of the first details to note is the positioning of what way Tyler and Josh play. When they're playing Scaled and Icy songs, Josh is normally on the right hand side as opposed to the left, and yet when they play normal songs like Stressed Out or songs from Trench, they instead switch positions to their normal places, and this is just meant to represent how Psy is very different and it's propaganda because nothing is as it seems. 
The live stream starts off with one of the control panels being turned on. Two buttons end up glowing, one for Sakava and one for Nico. Nico is actually nowhere to be seen throughout the whole live stream and it's almost implied he might be the cameraman or that he's just always watching. We are then introduced to the TV show Good Day Dima, where there are two hosts sitting on either side of Tyler. They start picking on him, insulting his appearance and insulting Josh, and one of them even asks where he gets his ideas from, which can be seen as A, proof that Scales and Icy is Dima propaganda, or B, could also be seen as a way for the bishops trying to get information from Tyler in order to be able to defeat the banditos. Tyler seems miserable between these two, and for good reason. Later on, these two hosts keep on cutting in during their performances, um, static appearing, and they go back to the Scales and Icy set to promote Psy. During these Scales and Icy sets, which interrupt when Tyler and Josh play normal songs as opposed to the propaganda songs, these two presenters end up saying things like that Psy is oozing with saturation, that it helps you feel as if you can escape, that there is no escape from Dima, that without this album you would feel trapped. It is then later on revealed, as these cuts go on more frequently, that these two presenters are almost being beaten up or destroyed, and they are then exposed to be bishops with red eyes and yellow irises. In the credits, they are revealed to be Sally Sakava and Dan Lisden. So it's proof that this whole livestream concert was meant to be demon propaganda until something went wrong. Obviously, throughout this, both Tyler and Josh are actively rebelling by playing not only Psy songs that have messages of rebellion, like Never Take It, but also playing older songs like Morph and Stressed Out. Also, towards the end, an alarm siren goes off, and whilst everyone is panicking and running, Tyler merely walks calmly through it and towards the set of Mulberry Street, where the Heavy Dirty Soul car is now there, and they start playing Never Take It. Soon after, however, Tyler then walks back into the set of the Good Day Demon TV show, where it seems nothing has changed from where he left in the first place. This could infer a few things. Maybe A, the whole of the livestream was in Tyler's head because he wants to rebel against Dima but he's in a position where he can't. The breaking away from the schedule and playing the music they want could possibly signify that this could also be an escape attempt as something similar was done in Nico and the Niners. Or, instead of this being a failed perimeter escape, it could be that it was a diversion, that it allowed someone to escape from Dima and the bishops have been alerted. Either A, Josh has managed to escape, or B, Clancy. And I'm going to get onto my reasoning on why I think it's Clancy. During the performance, at some point it cuts off to the two presenters wearing masks and then a speech starts playing. This speech is instantly recognised as a passage from one of the Clancy letters. This passage is also played at the start of the song We Decorate, which is then played after Lane Boy in the live stream when this little speech happens in order to promote the start of Lane Boy. Another peculiar thing about We Decorate is if you look at the lyric video, lyrics are written on. You match that writing to the handwriting in Demo.org and it's the same, and this almost could mean that Redecorate is either Clancy's final letter or it's proof that Clancy is still alive. More proof we have in the sets is the use of FPE, Food Patrol etc is used as one of the shops in the Mulberry Street set. There are also some other easter eggs in the Mulberry Street set such as a shop called Rosie's. But finally, there are a few numbers sprawled around the place. These numbers add up together to create the number that you need to add on the Demo.org website in order to get to Clancy's site. One blocked up and shut down door has the number of 8642. The last four numbers needed to add to the Demo.org.info link in order to get to Clancy's website. And this could almost infer that maybe 8642 was Clancy's number of residents. The fact that Clancy has been brought back up might suggest that either A, he's alive and well, or B, that maybe the Demo.org website is going to update very soon, and it would make sense because they have to remove the promotional material from there as it's now outdated. Either way, that was the Psy Experience. The album and the live stream for if you couldn't watch it or you missed it accidentally because it was at a stupid time like it was for me. 
Either way, I hope you enjoyed. I'm planning on doing a short analysis on all of the songs from Psy in some video next. I've also got some really important news to discuss in regards to, surprisingly, a new album, possibly, on the horizon. But, um... If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, please comment, please subscribe and share it around. It means a lot to me and the channel and I'll see you in the next video.